Hello everyone out there, got another unboxing uh, and review of a new uh, brown box special this time. I uh, love getting these in, these are definitely your flea market specials, you can tell by these little logos. I don't know if anyone's ever gotten these before in the comments. Um, find these everywhere. Uh, not not complaining about them. Um, I personally love them here on the channel. You, it's a great way to get a really big collection of swords for relatively cheap. Um, I mean, I get these bad boys for anywhere from 15 to 30 bucks. Sometimes even as cheap as 10 if you buy them in bulk. Um, uh, they're not uh, nothing too, too great. Normally stainless steel. Um... You know, I mentioned before, they're kind of, most of them seem like they're just out of a press. Like if they take a, a sheet of stainless steel, cut it, put an edge on it, uh, paint it, throw a little handle on it, maybe some hand protection, maybe. And there you go. Call it a machete, a tactical sword, short sword, you know, whatever you want to call it. And, and there you go. But they're a lot of fun. They're pretty durable. Um, even, that, even though they're stainless steel, they, um, you know, due to the fact that they're not so long... Uh, the stainless steel is more than adequate to get a good durable blade out of it, uh, you know, at this length. Anyways, uh, this one, I do know what's inside. This one I've actually been waiting for, anticipating a lot. I have a feeling this one's going to be one of my favorites. Um, this one is the Marines Dual-Edged Combat Sword uh, and uh, or Machete. Um, let's go ahead and, and open that sucker up. This one, I've been very eager. Um, I have already uh, acquired the standard Marines uh, Tonto Katana Short Sword Machete. Um, and I got to do a review on that one as well. But I was really looking forward to this one because this one... Uh, like the name would suggest, is dual-edged, uh, making it, you know, closer to the style of sword I like. I really like broadswords, uh, European broadswords primarily, uh, double-edged swords. Um, this one, you know, is, is very, very similar. You know, it's a lot shorter, a lot lighter. Um, let's go ahead and get it out so you can see. Typical uh, wrapping job here. Have your... You know, preservative packs there. They all come with those. That's always good to have those. They really help keep in, in keeping the uh, moisture out off of the blade. A little cheap uh, nylon sheath there. A little uh, belt loop here. This one seems a little bit durable though. Kind of has like a leather reinforcement to it. So you can actually wear it. Um, like I mentioned before, Tactical. You know, I'm not a, really a big fan of Tactical. But every now and then, there's something that catches my eye from that genre, and this is definitely one of them. So let's uh, get this bad boy out of the plastic wrap. Uh, these are made to kind of mimic the K-Bar Marine Survival Knife. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, I believe it's called a K-Bar. See that handle there? Oh, uh, this one's nice. I, I love how long the handle is on that, man. I'm going to... I have a lot of fun with this thing. Blade isn't the longest, but this thing is so light. Uh, you see there, US 1942. Uh, double edge there, even has some serrations. Nice little tiny fuller all the way up to the top. Nice thin uh, pinpointing uh, edge there. Makes some good thrusts. Thing's nice and oiled up, fresh. This thing is ready to go. I can't wait to get some cuts out of this one. Of the sword machetes that I currently possess, uh, let me show you a comparison to the Marine United States Marine Corps uh, Tonto sword, uh, Tonto machete, or uh, katana machine, Marine katana. Here's the other one, right here, Marine Corps design. United States Marine Corps, little serrations, a little same similar idea with the uh, tiny fuller on both sides. And, you know, you just have a single edge on this one with a nice little tonto edge like a standard katana. But if I put them there side to side, blade's about the same length, handle's about the same length. 
This one's rocking the nice uh, wood design, whereas this one has a nice rubber grip. It even comes with a little glass breaker. Um, let me know if you guys want to see any reviews on this one. This one's one of my personal favorites of uh, when it comes to sword machetes. I really got to catch up and do some more cut tests with all of these uh, sword machetes that I've been uploading and do a top 10 or a top 5 for you guys. Um, however, I'm pretty confident without even trying that this one is definitely going to be in the top five uh, because this one is pretty much already my top, you know, um, especially if we're not counting the cold steel sword machetes. I think those are kind of a gimme um, that those would make it just, you know, due to the high quality that they put into those, especially for the price. However, um, you know, these are a little bit cheaper, even cheaper than the cold steel. Most of the cold steel ones you're going to spend about you know, anywhere from, I want to say 30 to 60 bucks on them, depending where you get them from. Whereas I mentioned with these 30 bucks should pretty much be the top that you're paying for these, you know? Um, and, uh, they're not necessarily the easiest to find. I was only able to find these online. I had a uh, try going around, uh, my local flea markets and pawn shops trying to find them, especially the, uh, the Tonto, uh, katana version that i just uh had that there um but anyways i was able to find them online and i'm um, really looking forward to doing some cut tests some thrust thrusting tests with these some torture tests let me know if you guys want to see that let me know if you guys want to see a review on the other one that i lined up next to this one the regular uh marines tactical uh katana um let me know what you think of this one um you know got more coming up thanks for joining us